So, good evening dear friends. Now, I will start off with uh, some of the bio enhancers which I mentioned last time. I will show the demonstration of how it can be prepared. So, we will do a couple of say 6 to 7 bio enhancers. So, basically what are bio enhancers? They promote the growth of the plant. They promote the microbes. They are microbial mixtures actually and you can uh, prepare them using different ingredients. Basically, it will contain cow dung and sometimes cow urine also and some other ingredient. So, the most simple method, simple bio enhancer you can make is Sanjeevini. So, Sanjeevini basically con contains three ingredients that is cow dung, cow urine and water in the proportion of 1 is to 1 is to 2. That means 1 kilo, if you are taking 1 kilo cow dung, you take 1 liter of cow urine and uh, 2 liters of water. So, in this case, I will show you uh, I am taking half kilo of cow dung. So, half kilo of cow dung, half liter of uh, gomotra or cow urine and 1 liter of water. So, this is this uh, most of the things which I am going to show you are aerobic uh, bio enhancers. So you can have aerobic cow dung has got both aerobic and anaerobic microbes. So, we are doing the aerobic microbes. Now, aerobic microbes basically mean that it should have air. That means we have to stir it constantly. Morning, evening we have to stir it for 4, four, four to 5 minutes both uh, say uh, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So, I will show you how it is being done and there is a period by which it takes uh, the time for it to ferment properly and reach the uh, proper uh, strength of the microbes. So, there is a time. So, I will mention that also and you can see how it is being done. Okay. We will start up with Sanjeevini. So, I am taking here half kilo of cow dung. This is a pre we have measured and found out the weight. Okay. This is half kilo of cow dung and half liter half liter of cow urine. Okay. Half liter of cow urine. Now we take this is a one liter container. Now we take two liters of uh, water. If it is one, we use two. Now we have taken only half, so we take one liter of water. Okay. Now we mix it properly with using the hand. I use the hand basically because I have a very great. Uh, uh, my attitude is see, I am a parent for the plants. So, as a parent, one thing when we feed my, it is, they are just like my children. So, when I feed them, I use my own hands. Had I fed my children, I would have used the same love and affection, the same uh, for feeding my children. There is no aversion for it. This is a food of my children who use cow dung and cow urine. It is their food. So, I mix them with the hand. I have the same attitude. I do it with love and affection because I know they are living beings. They can understand and they can express their uh, say uh, inner warmth to me too and my warmth and affection and love I uh, do it in the same way using my hands. So, I have no aversion. Cow dung is in India, you know cow dung is not at all seen with aversion. So, you have to mix it properly. There should be should be a proper mix. There should not be any, any clods in it. Okay. Now you, you have to mix it clockwise and anti-clockwise so that it froths. Air has to go in. Okay. Do it for nearly four to five minutes. And do not keep it airtight. You can open it and keep or you should put a uh, uh, cloth over it so that air moves in. Now, this is done twice a week, uh, twice a day, morning, evening. It is done for uh, in hot places like Kerala in Trivandrum, seven days we do it. So, on the eighth day, Sanjeevini is ready. So, that is how we make Sanjeevini. It is a big simple preparation and for those, for those of you who have the cow, this is a free preparation. Now, Sanjeevini also contains most of the microbes, you know, you, 
look it contains azospirulum, it contains acetobacter, it contains uh, trichoderma, it contains pseudomonas, it contains phosphorus solubilizing microbe, potash solubilizing microbe, bacillus subtilis. Uh, so, num it contains a lot of microbes which we usually buy from the uh, store, from the medical, from the uh, say some um, place which are selling this agriculture inputs. We, so, this is not required. You have a desi cow, uh, Indian cow and you have fresh cow dung, this is today's cow dung, you have gomutra, you can make the same thing. I hope you get it. Now, this is I am what you made is Sanjeevani. Now, we will go to the, uh, the how it is being used. So, we use it, we mix it for 7 days. On the 8th day, what you get is uh, so Sanjeevani and the way we use it, it, it is used for seedling and seed uh, treatment. For that, we use 20 percent concentration that is 20, 200 liters of 200 millis of milliliter of uh, Sanjeevani. We mix with 1 liter of water, we soak the seeds or we soak the seedlings for say 30 minutes in it and then we can plant. That is the seedling treatment. This is called um, uh, uh, Bija Sanjeevani and then for powder Sanjeevani, when we directly play, uh, you know, spray on the plants, you can use it as a spray. For that, you have to find, sieve it very well with the cloth also, three times through the cloth also and then or you can also use it with irrigation water. There, if the plants, especially vegetable plants, vegetable plants, if they are less than one month old, we use 5 percent concentration that is 50 milli in 1 liter of water. And those plants which are more than one month old, we use 10 percentage that is 100 milli in 1 liter of water. You can use this uh, say once in 2 weeks, once in 2, two, three week, uh, two to 3 weeks, it is very good for the growth of the plant, it uh, will deter you know, uh, say uh, if you are spraying it, it deter uh, say insects from attacking the plant, it grows very well, yield will be very good and the immunity level will be very good. So, this is used uh, for Sanjeevani, it is a basic preparation.